Now at 10, e-bikes may be inefficient and a fun way to travel, but they may also be creating problems for some people in the South Bay. Gangs of teenagers are using the e-bikes to get around, and neighbors tell us they're being terrorized by those teens. And tonight, the neighbors say they've just had enough. They want the police to do something. Rachel Menatoff is live in Redondo Beach with reaction. Rachel. Rick Kareen, this is a problem, especially once school lets out for the summer. A lot of people tell us the e-bikes give kids too much freedom, and in some cases, it seems like they're abusing it. Hermosa Beach police impounding dozens of illegal electric bikes to deter what they say is an uptick in teen takeovers in cities across the South Bay. In videos seen online, groups of young people, oftentimes driving at excessive speeds, have been known to accost, harass, or even assault passersby. You're giving kids, kids, uh, the opportunity to hurt themselves. There's no real regulations. Shane McLaughlin says it's a trend that's tough to tackle. You know, you have law enforcement with their hands tied. They're either doing serious crimes and having to work that, or they're trying to, you know, trying to battle um, these violations with these youth. South Bay police officers say with the backdrop of this beautiful beach strand and warm temps, they do see a rise in reckless driving, especially on the handy e-bikes. That's why they're cracking down with hefty citations, removing illegal off-road vehicles from the streets and arresting those who engage in violence. I feel like it's just a lot of freedom and uh, a lot of responsibility to have one of those bikes because it's basically like a motorcycle. Longtime Redondo Beach resident Michael Marino says he's seen the belligerent behavior firsthand. It seems like they don't pick on people who would be able to take them. It seems like uh, They'll kind of pick easy targets. Over in Manhattan Beach, the city council actually banned e-bikes on the green belt and on sidewalks, instituted 15 miles per hour and fines of up to $1,000. Uh, even today, I experienced a few kids that seem to have a kind of a I don't care attitude. Victor Leon says strictly enforcing the rules of the road is going to be key. If you're driving a car and you get pulled over for speeding or you know drinking and driving, then they you know, you get you get taken in and they take your vehicle. I think you do that a few times and they'll get the message. Police have also been holding assemblies at local high schools to explain to students what's allowed and what's not. So they're hoping that enforcement plus education does the trick. We're live in Redondo Beach tonight. I'm Rachel Menatoff. Rick Kareen back to you in the studio. All right, Rachel, thanks so much.